Happy Halloween. Actually, you guys will be seeing this the day after Halloween. What came today, which is All Hallows Eve, is the Locksmith Comics $150 Box of Terror. I picked number 31. It is the 31st day of October. This is going to be magical, right? So we'll find out. And it arrived today. So I had to do this opening uh, for you guys. Uh, I'm in my partial costume. As you can see, no facial hair. Maybe you guys can guess in the comments below what this costume is going to be. Uh, I take the dad roll. I man the candy dish uh, at the house so that we can give lots of candy to the neighborhood children. So the box of terror, $150. And the range on these was going to be very rangy. <clears throat> on the Instagram post, it was going to be uh, anywhere from $100 to $800 in value, just really kind of depending on which one you got. So we got the box of terror in the blood red packaging, as you can see there. The Frightful, number 31, and let's crack into this one. I think this will be just a quick, fun little video. I'll try to get it out in the morning. So as you're decorating for Thanksgiving, lounging around, trying to burn off a holiday hangover, get a little something to watch. So it looks like I got three books. This is gonna be a quick one, folks. So maybe we did all right, and like I said, anywhere from 100 to 800 in this box of terror. Um, Locksmith Comics stand-up dude. I don't know that much about horror, but I've been kind of getting all his stuff. So uh, I'm probably not gonna know. Like when it comes to me not knowing a lot about comics, you take horror comics and you just go. Push that down. So let's see what we got here. All right. Something killing the children. All right. Number one. Very uh, popular book. I don't know what this cover is going. Uh, I did get some Grady covers from Andrew at Comic Book Campaign. And I know those were valuable. I don't know how much you know, raw books, uh, and specific ones are going. Condition is nice. Very even. Little, little rubs on the, each of the corners, but not bad at all. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, something killing the children. Uh, this is the A copy. I know the price on this in graded has actually dropped a little bit, um, because I, uh, had the graded one I was checking I was watching the prices it was it like four hundred dollars for 9.8 uh, and I know it has come down a skosh I sold mine uh, for like two hundred and eighty dollars so so there is some value on that cover as far as a raw cover all right so I got a whole something killing the children uh, number one series so so $150, I know what the gradeds on a couple of these are going for. Um, they The prices have come down on them, but they still should potentially be in the neighborhood of $350. Uh, well, these ones, not necessarily. Uh, but raw, I'm assuming I, should, I got my $150 in value back based on what I know from my experience of selling the graded ones. So hopefully these are all looking really minty I would say probably for sure nine sixes if not uh, better so the corner dings I again see I know it's easy to kind of for me to judge the smoothness of the cover I don't know what a little uh, ding on the corner counts as uh, I'm assuming not very much if the whole spine is minty um, so uh, something killing the ch uh, children in the box of terror uh, I'm Pretty sure I got my value back out of my $150 investment. Um, so I think I am happy with the box. I hope everyone has a happy Halloween. And remember, when you're done trick-or-treating, wash those hands.